good morning, good afternoon, good whenever you want to watch this. Um, I just hope you're in good spirits when you turn this video on. Uh, my name is Timothy King. I am a member at God's House. Um, God's House is pastored by Helene Loper and Susie Lowe. Susan Lowe, I should say. And um, they're located in the Holt, Alberta area of Tuscaloosa. Um, as soon as all this COVID-19 junk is over with, please come by and please make your face present. Um, it's a good, God-loving, God-fearing church, and we would love for you to come by. There's been a lot going on. <laughs> There's been too much going on. And uh, right now we need prayer. I need prayer. You need prayer. We all need prayer. Our Mother and Father God, we thank you for bringing us here together. We thank you for being that strong level of support that we need in these times. Um, Lord, help us to get past all the hate and um, help us to get past all the the guns and, and weapons. Um, help us to get past those things and get us to a place of healing. And ask this to be done in Jesus' name. Amen. I went to the barber shop, and while I was in the chair, discussions began about police violence, spousal abuse, and riots in Minnesota and Chicago. While leaving, one person said the killing of unarmed black people is now a reoccurring theme in society. As of today, I am realizing that God has blessed me just to make all the safe round trips I have made in the past. God has blessed me for that. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is way too heavy for a sermon. But my response is, I don't think so. Why are we so violent and hateful? I feel that the blame for this is not from a Hollywood movie. It's not from Tom and Jerry. It's not from a rap song. It's from us taking advantage and being unappreciative of the presence of God. If we knew God, we would act better. God is love, but we're not looking for love. We are trying to find out how much better we are than the person who sits next to us or walks beside us. There are members of this world that have a superiority complex. So we aren't feeling love. We're feeling us. It's our comparisons, our arrogance, our hate that makes us say that this life doesn't matter, and that that life was pointless. Then we hit a wall, because all that negativity can only take us but so far. It corrodes us. We suffer from the inside out. Then we look for God and don't see God. Then we cry out for God and don't hear God. Why? Because in our quest for power, we ran past God. We walked out on God. Why would God give someone anything if they don't appreciate God? In Isaiah, we see where the Lord is on the verge of judging Jerusalem and Judah for their wickedness. God is going to leave them in chaos. God will take away their soldiers, and have their children ruling them, and the elderly to sit in silence. God is destroying their structure, and confusion will run wild in their streets. Does this sound familiar? It should, because it sounds like our world now. Our society favors downplaying racism, discrimination, hate, and ungratefulness toward God. And for this, we are wicked. It's only a matter of time before we will be judged by God. 
we need, I mean, humanity, we need to run for our lives to repentance to keep from being judged by God. Okay, so how does that work? We need to do away with our hate towards others and ungratefulness with, towards God. And then cry out and run to God. Run, don't walk. <laughs> Kenya knows what I'm saying. If we can have faith and gratitude in God, then we can be healed, just like the beggar in Acts today. With faith in the name of Jesus, we can all be healed. We can serve a God that transcends death, a God that can wrap the word of God in flesh and die for our shortcomings. Jesus' form isn't in the form of a ghost, but in a new, supernatural, resurrected body. In Luke 24, 45, we see where Jesus downloaded the ability to understand prophesied scriptures to confirm his mission to others. Jesus is the only one who can come out of the grave and still eat with his loved ones. This is the God we serve, a God of honesty, love, compassion, and forgiveness. Let's put aside the ego trips and lay down our guns. Let's reach out for God and begin our healing. God is waiting on us. Who's to blame? It's not God. It's us. Amen. God is love.